This is the new 7 Artisans 4mm f2.8 fisheye lens available for Micro Four Third and APS-C mirrorless cameras. And in today's video I'm gonna give you 3 good reasons of why you should consider getting this lens. With this lens I had my very first experience with uh, fisheye photography and uh, during the first half an hour it was very confusing, I didn't really understand how to use this lens and I was almost uh, giving up but uh, after a while playing with this lens, I can say that this lens is extremely funny to use and it can really give you unique uh, perspective that you will not able to get with any other lenses. The main reason why I really enjoy to use this lens is because it's uh, very challenging, because you have to consider the crazy field of view, so it's difficult to have a nice composition of your images, you have to consider the perspective distortion that is uh, insane with this lens, and it is also difficult to use uh, physically talking so like this lens can literally see behind uh, the barrel of the lens so if you have a small and compact camera like my Canon M100 you will not have many problems because you can simply hold the camera in this way and you can click the shutter button in this way and then you're gonna be sure that your fingers are not going to be in frame while using it for street photography, there were many shots where I was holding my camera properly and my fingers were on the frame. But uh, I mean, at one point you get used to the idea of holding the camera in this way. So it is important to always carry this uh, camera combination with the lens with a wristband. So you're not gonna risk to drop your camera. And another funny aspect to consider when you take pictures with this lens is that uh, there are high chances that you're gonna frame also your head and your toes. It, it is really challenging and I like that. It's, uh, it's funny, it's a new way to take photos and something different, you know? So if you wake up in the morning and you want to challenge yourself taking uh, really difficult pictures with an extremely wide lens, uh, this uh, combination is uh, pretty fantastic. As you can imagine, this lens cannot accept filters or uh, lens hood. So if you want to protect your front element of the lens, you have to rely to the metal lens cap that is provided with the lens. The only bad thing about this system is that the lens cap doesn't really uh, stay firmly on the lens, so it can easily slip off. And during a photo session in Amsterdam two days ago, in a couple of hours I dropped this thing like four times. So keep in mind that you can easily lose this uh, metal cap, so pay attention when you walk around with this uh, combination. And maybe for seven artisans will be nice if you can add a magnetic system inside this lens cap in a way that the lens cap is gonna stay more firmly attached to the lens body. The reason number two of why I really enjoy to use this lens is because this lens is able to focus extremely close and that's something mind-blowing because you can really take unique perspectives in the macro photography and this is something that i absolutely love about this lens because i really love to do macro photography when i go out for simple walks in the nature and keep talking about fun with this lens you can literally capture everything is in front of you even if you are in a small church or if you are in a small landscape view with this lens you're not gonna have problems of thinking oh i should do a panorama for this picture or something else like with this lens you're gonna be sure everything is gonna be in frame with a funky perspective but uh, it's gonna be in frame and the third and last reason of why you should consider this lens is because it has a great value for money the build construction of this lens is phenomenal and the optical elements inside of the lens are very very good this lens has very good sharpness already wide open at f 2.8 between close distance and medium distances and if you want to have everything sharp also at long distances, when you stop down the lens at f5.6, you're gonna have great results. Once you start to stop down the lens to f8 or f16, you're gonna have quite a bit of diffraction, so you're gonna lose sharpness in your photos. So the sweet spot of using this lens is at f5.6, and you're gonna get great results. You're not gonna have problems with focusing because the depth of field is going to be extremely large so when you use this lens at f5.6 everything is going to be in focus and it's going to be a sort of point and shoot uh, fisheye camera so it is uh, really nice and funny to use so all in all considering that this lens has a great build construction great optical design and good quality glass 
it is uh, fun to use and it can uh, really let you think out of the boxes it's uh, sort of a must buy for every photographer that likes to take uh, nice and different perspectives for your photos so I hope you enjoyed the video I really like to use this lens it's not something that I would use every day but for those uh, occasions where I want to play with uh, perspective distortion and crazy field of view this lens is uh, pretty funny to use thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys